Hi everyone, this is Chaitanya Krishna. In this video, we will get to know about how to install ActiveOS and integrate it with PIM. In this video, we will see about introduction of ActiveOS, prerequisites required to install ActiveOS, database setup, AOS installation and AOS integration with PIM followed by a demo. Informatic ActiveOS is a business process management tool that helps you to automate business processes. You can create process models that integrate people, processes and systems which increase the efficiency of your business. AOS is integrated with P360. Before we start, make sure you have ActiveMP installed in your system and its service is up and running. Download the required Apache Tomcat files from the website or from the third party software that is delivered to you. Download the AOS installers, AOS license file and also the database drivers. The details about version compatibility with PIM is provided in PAM. Please go through PAM to know what versions are supported. As a part of database setup, run AOS underscore server.exe file. This will extract a particular files and then go into this mentioned path. In the path, we will find .sql files which we have to run that can create the ActiveOS database schemas. Once the file is run, this will create an ActiveOS database schema. Then we have to create a username and password with BPEL user and BPEL. Provide all the server roles to that user. As a part of ActiveOS installation, go into this path, run config underscore deploy dot bat file. Proceed with the steps that will be shown later in the demo. Once the installation of ActiveOS server is completed, go into the bin folder of Tomcat. Open the command prompt and type in service.bat space install. This will create the Apache Tomcat service. You can then start or stop the service from services.msc. If you are trying to install AOS versions of 9.2.4.6 or more, you have to follow a particular set of rules that are given in the KB. These steps will be explained later in the demo. Once the installation is completed, we then add users in the tomcat underscore users.xml file. And then the ActiveOS can be accessed in the URL localhost colon 8080 slash ActiveOS. We need to add the license file of AOS, which will be explained later in the demo. The integration of ActiveOS with P360 includes changes to be done in server.properties file. These steps will be later explained in the demo clearly. Now let us go into demo. Let us start the demo. Let us create a new folder called as ActiveOS. Let us run ActiveOS underscore server.exe file. Once the installation wizard is open, click on next. We are installing ActiveOS for Tomcat. Select this Tomcat and then browse the folder that we just created for ActiveOS. Click on next, next and the files will be extracted in the given path. Once the extraction is complete, click on finish. Now once the files are extracted, go into ActiveOS, Server, Server Enterprise, Tomcat Config, TDLS. Here you can see 4 .sql files that can create the database schema. According to your database, select the .sql file and then run it. Now, you can see an ActiveOS database schema has been created. After the schema has been created, you have to create a user with the username and password as BPEL user and BPEL. In the security, in the logins, just create new login. The login name is BPEL user. and the password is BPEL and the server roles provide all the required server roles Now you can see a BPEL user has been created. Now once the database installation is completed, extract apache.zip file, go into ActiveOS, Server, 
server enterprise tomcat config bin here you can find config underscore deploy dot bat file run this file click on next select your database click on next select all these three properties click on next if you want to enable clustering you can do it over here I am doing a standalone installation so next and then we have to give the host name and port next in order to fill these details click on help then this window opens in this window you can just copy paste the required details for your database as my database is, is SQL server I am copying this file paste it here and then again from SQL server now here we have to give host name and port where the database is located in my case it is localhost and my database is running on port number 1433 in the end give the database name the database name that we just created is activos select the driver jar file this jar file will be provided by your database team and then the default username and password is bpel user and bpel click on next once the database connection is successful we have already installed database schema so no need to install schema again click on next and then select the tomcat folder that we just extracted next install once the installation is finished you can exit this if you go into apache tomcat you can find a new folder called as activos has been created after the completion of the setup go into tomcat bin and then open command prompt in the command prompt run service.bat space install now you can see that tomcat service has been installed this service can be opened or stopped through services.msc let us start the service and then for the successful startup of the service we check in logs go to logs in the catalina log in the logs if you see the message called as server startup this says that the tomcat has been successfully started now let us try and access the tomcat url yeah the tomcat url is accessible now let us access activos url here you can see that the activos url is not accessible this is because from the version 9.2.4.6 the activos url will be directly taken to https instead of http in order to revert back it to from https to http we follow the steps given in the kb once you follow the steps given in the kb and then restart the tomcat server you will be able to access the https back to http now open tomcat conf then you will find a file called as tomcatusers.xml in this xml file we add a new user with the username and password as avos and avos this username and password will be used to log into avos url now you can see that the avos url is accessible as we followed the steps given in the kb and the url is being re redirected back to http instead of https now let us log in from username and password avos and avos once you log in go to admin and in the admin go to license information here you have to add the license information delivered to you by informatica open the license file copy the contents of the license file and then paste it in the box and then add license you should see that the license should be visible here now go to admin go to server status click on start server after some time you will see the cluster status as running 
which completes the installation of ActiveOS. Now, let us see how to integrate ActiveOS with P360. The integration of ActiveOS with P360 includes changes to be done in server.properties file. Open the server.properties file and under the heading Informatica PPM settings, do the required changes. Uncomment as shown in the video. Now, give the URL. We have given the username and password as avos and avos in the tomcat conf. Give the same details here. Once this is done, save the server.properties file, restart both tomcat and the p360 server. After restart of p360 server, open the desktop client and in the desktop client, try to open business process management perspective. If the perspective is open, then it shows that there is successful integration of p360 with ActiveOS. That is it with the demo. The detailed documentation of installation and configuration are present in our document set. You can follow the KB given in the description and in the PPT to redirect it from HTTPS to HTTP. If you are able to open business process management perspective after AOS integration, then it indicates successful installation and integration of AOS. You can reach out to us in the given handles. Thank you.